Hey guys, so today we are going to talk about restricted stock units or otherwise known as RSUs. So we'll talk about the basics of how they work, how they are taxed, and a couple of big questions to think about whenever you get RSUs. So first, just doing a quick breakdown of what this is, if we just break down the actual term, so restricted stock units. So first, from the restricted perspective, um, it's restricted because they, they have strings attached to them. So that means that whenever you get it, then there's actually things that you have to do before they become yours. Um, that's usually tied to a vesting schedule, and so that could either be uh, an amount of time to keep working at the job, um, or it could be performance-based, or it could be a combination of both. And then the other part of it, the fact that it's a stock unit, um, so that means that it is tied to stock in your company, but it's not actual stock yet. It's just a promise that they are going to give you the stock at a future date as soon as you satisfy the restrictions. So let's do this through an example. So let's say that you've just started a new job and you're working for ABC company and then ABC company has said, hey, as a bonus for you coming on, then we are going to grant you 8,000 RSUs in the company. And then in this example, let's say that the restriction is that it's going to be on a four year graded vesting schedule. All this part is saying is that in order to get the 8,000 RSUs and turn them into shares of stock, then you have to stick around for four years. And the fact that it's graded means that you get a certain amount every year. So if you stick around one year, then you'll get 2,000. Um, and in another year, you'll get another 2,000 until you're there for four years. Now let's look at this from a timeline perspective. So first, um, whenever you think about the grant date, so you got 8,000 shares, um, or sorry, 8,000 RSUs granted to you. Um, and then at that, at that time, then the company is going to be trading at a certain, you know, it'll have a certain stock price. But the thing is, this, th the price, whenever it's granted, doesn't matter because they're just RSUs and since no, nothing has vested, then there's really nothing for you to do here. Really the only thing that, that this matters is just seeing the potential of what these things could be valued at as you go along. So in our scenario, if you've stuck around for a year, then a fourth of your shares are going to vest on this date. And so you're gonna get 2000 shares of stock on this date. And then that, this is where it really does matter what the price of the stock is on that vesting date. If you have 2,000 shares that vested here, and then it's at $10 a share, then from a tax perspective, then what just happened is that you just got a $20,000 bonus. So just like a cash bonus, what that means is that this $20,000 is subject to federal taxes, state taxes, Medicare, and Social Security. And then also just like with your paycheck, um, then that means that, that taxes will need to be withheld from this dollar amount. A very common way that, that the company will withhold those taxes for you is that they'll take a portion of these shares and they'll surrender them and sell them in order to withhold the taxes from them. So for example, in our scenario, um, if there are 2,000 shares that, that vested, then say they would withhold 500 of those shares to pay for the taxes. And then the end result of all of that is that you now become the proud owner of 1,500 shares of stock in your company. And there are two main questions that you need to answer. And the first one is, do you need to withhold any more taxes? Kind of ran out of room there, but that's all right. So just saying more tax withholding. Um, and so, so what, what we're really talking about, so your company has withheld a certain amount but um, it's very common for, your, for the company to just withhold a standard 22% from a federal tax rate. And so if, if, if an example, you're at the 32% tax bracket, there's actually another $2,000 that you should withhold um, in order to pay taxes on this $20,000 bonus. Okay, so what we did in order to withhold more taxes to withhold this another $2,000 um, is that we um, sold 200 shares 
And so now we're left with 1300 shares. And the second big question to answer is what should you do now with the rest of the shares that you have? The way that I like to pose this question to clients of whether to sell or not is, is imagine the scenario of instead of your company doing the stock um, bonus, that they actually gave you $13,000 as a cash bonus. And then the question is, would you then take that $13,000, go to your brokerage account, and buy shares of stock in your company? And if the answer to that is no, then, then that's just another way of saying to go ahead and sell the rest of them right here. Um, if you sell them the date that they vest, then there's no additional taxes due to it um, because we've already figured out this bonus income tax and and once it vests here then any taxes afterwards is just the same as if you bought it and you had to think about uh, capital gains and capital losses and another thing to think about is this idea of it's the fancy term is called concentration risk and that's just an, uh, a way of saying that you have part of your net worth tied to your company in the form of stock, and then also your, your paycheck is tied to that company because you're also working for them. And so if you're wanting to diversify away from that, then the idea would be to sell the shares of your stock and put that into um, other investments. And you'd still want your stock price to go up because remember in our example, we've 2,000 shares have vested, but there's still 6,000 left that are going to vest in the next three years. I hope you guys found, found this helpful. Um, RSUs have become more and more common and I don't see them going anywhere anytime soon. So I think it's really important to understand the way that they work and how valuable that they can be. Um, and so if you like what you see, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel or go to javawealth.com and check out more information there. And I will talk to you guys later. Thanks. Thank you.